Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with a new series. Uh, this is FTB Genesis. And I need to adjust my mass sensitivity. Which is weird. Usually I have to turn it up like way down in these packs. But uh, in this one I actually had to turn it up. So we have all the books. Okay. Kind of wondering about that. And... Welcome, Administrator. Okay, let me look around here a little bit. What else we got going on here? Uh, Deep Slate Coal Ore. Okay, kind of. I really do love these lobbies they make. <laughs> this is really good. And let's see. I'm guessing we have to go through the portal, right? I mean, that just makes sense. It says, Welcome, Administrator. Uh, from the little bit I read about... Oh, well, that's cool. Uh, the, you know, the pack description and whatnot. Uh, yeah. We are the administrator, so. This is really well done, though. All right. So, quests, right? Here we go. Download initiated. Uh, in an age long forgotten, the world of Illyria was a paradise, a bastion of civilization and unity. But human ambition and greed took over, and what was once a haven turned into a battleground. The Cold War of ideology spiraled out of control, re resulting in a cataclysmic nuclear exchange. Hillary was scarred, forever changed. Okay, so instead of actually being scroll, it's pages now. That's cool. Skies darkened, radiant blue oceans turned murky, as if the very soul of the world had was tainted. The aftermath of the war led to rapid ecological decay, with the realization of the impending doom. Survivors, with a melding of hope and desperation, turned to their advanced technology. The project, named Genesis Protocol, was initiated. They aimed to transfer their consciousness into a digital network realm known as the Nexa Network, hoping to outlive the decay and one day return. Time flowed differently inside the Nexa Network. While the world outside rotted, the digital, digital denizens of Nexa experienced eons. But it was not a peaceful existence. Corruption. Existence. I'm sorry. Uh, corruption, like a virulent disease, began to seep into the code. The strange, twisted digital entities emerged, spawning an eternal nightmare for the trapped souls. Eons passed until a council was formed within the Nexa. Their sole aim was to put an end to the suffering and find a way back to Illyria. From among them, you were chosen as an architect. Your goal was to return the physical to the physical world, assess the damage, and find a solution. By entering the portal, you'll be digitalized into what remains of Illyria... Begin the arduous task of rebuilding. The world is counting on you, but you will not be alone. Your civilization within the next will provide assistance where you need it most. All right. So, go through the portal. Oh. And Vault 01, FTB Team, V8. Hey, chapter completed. Question marks. Okay, so... You know, I kind of want to play Fallout again now. <laughs> okay, we got an AE system down there. We have got... Tons of beehives. Okay. Tons of beehives. This is a pretty expansive area. Just random cable poking up there. We have Step Assist. Or that, is that, that's auto jump, isn't it? Yeah, that's auto jump. Get rid of that. Yeah, no. Step assist, I like. I do not like auto jump. Alright, so connectivity nexus over that way. Simulation matrix, okay. And we currently have. Nothing in the spatial I.O., so... Birch cabinet. It's been labeled drive storage, that's cool. This reminds me a lot already of material energy. Especially with the spatial I.O.s. And oh my god, look at all the rings here. Alright, well we don't have to worry about making half of them anyway. So we're back here. There's the entrance. We've got agriculture there. We've got 
simulations, and data access. Let's go to data access, see what we got. <laughs> okay, calamity. System overloaded, the machines exploded. I better note this in my journal. Okay, nice. So we have two 1K drives. All right, that, we have a task screen here, okay. Do not, don't have permission to configure this, okay. So we do not start with an AE system. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. And metal barrel, can I not? Yeah, okay. I can't see from the outside, but we've got LV wire coil. Okay, we have immersive engineering, cool. We have pneumatic craft. Dynamic electricity. One kilojoule at 120 volts is equal to 1,000 FE. Full generator, 120 volts. And insulated 10 wire from electrodynamics. Okay, cool. So a little bit of goodies. And then let's go over, I guess, we'll check out agriculture. Got tons of barrel. Oh, hey, look, there's a seed in here. Nice. Crop seed from IC2 Classic. Right. Rainbow birch sapling. Pasture seeds. Experience essence. Nice. We have got all kinds of things here. All right, so more beehive storage, it looks like. Overgrowth seed, okay. Master melon, lily of the valley, okay, cool. Yes, IC2 is back, right? And we're actually, we're in 119.2 right now, okay. We have a bunch of cloches here, nice. Oh, that's kind of interesting now, isn't it? It's like like a cask. Put water in here and that'll put it up into there. Okay, cool. And not have thought about doing it this way with the uh, transporters. We have a faucet and we have a waterlogged block back here. All right. Okay. We got moss blocks, okay. Hemp seeds and wheat seeds, okay. I like the little squeak it makes, I'm sorry. Okay, we have a water bar apparently. All right, so what do we have here? We got some XP and some food, all right. Getting started, access system internals. Uh, yeah, it blew up on me. We got some food, we got a water bottle, purified. And a little more XP. Okay. Cold sterile environment of the seed vault welcomes you. Faint lights blink on consoles and an AI voice guides you. Welcome back, architect. Illyria awaits your direction. Initial task is simple. Reactivate the dormant systems of the seed vault. Find the terminal and log in. Calamity. <laughs> you let the smoke out. First domain digital, digital storage. Alarms blare. A pulsating energy radiates from it. Growing unstable to AI. Voice turns frantic, containment breach imminent. No time to act, the storage explodes, sending shockwaves that destabilize the vault's energy grid. Merging from smoke and debris, it comes clear that the resources inside the seed vault won't be enough. The world outside, while inhospitable, holds the key to gathering essential resources. It should be safe within the radius of the vault, but beyond that you will need protection. Though much time has passed, the world is still plagued by radiation and easily disturbed protective layers of soil that can be churned by your mere presence. It is essential to devise protection in the form of a radiation suit before you will be able to go beyond the vault border. You are not safe. There is powerful electromagnetic field that extends from the heart of this facility and prevent most hostile enemies from approach or appearing inside. This is not a foolproof defense. There are smart creatures in the world, and some have even evolved to use tools. Weaker blocks can be dug through, so be sure to fortify your defenses with mundane materials until you can eventually extend protective shields. Your simulation chamber is not protected as the field interferes with normal operations inside. Gotcha. Back to basics. We have to make a crafting table. Quite dangerous to leave the safety of the vault. You should be able to safely venture as far 
Uh, as far as where the nature of preserve field extends, you'll be able to gather basic materials throughout this region in relative safety. You can also break down some excess beehives into planks with a simple shape craft. Oh, that's cool. So we don't have to go outside, but I want to go outside. Oh, we have one probe, huh? Dang. I thought we had uh, some uh, form of Wayla. And this is a, sh a simple shape craft. Oh, we can make a dragon egg hive out of it. Okay, wow, we get six planks per. All right, well, that's kind of cool. Go uh, poke our head outside and see what we got. Looks like I may have spent too much time in here because uh, it's nighttime and I see mobs on the minimap. We had a shrub. Cool. Hey, we got an azalea. Nice. And we got some sticks. Okay, that works. Dried salt. I just heard something like get thrown or something. Well, that's kind of a... So that's the door then. Okay. Interesting. I like how it looks. Apparently, yeah, there's stuff right underneath me here. Like a cave or something. And there's water down there. All right, so well, there are trees. But nothing, you know, easily accessible. Well, maybe this one would work. I don't know if I want to cut down those trees though. Do we have? Reach work? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, hello. I don't know why the creeper exploded, but um, it did. Give me speed. Good. 30 seconds. Alright, so there's like a rail line and whatnot down there. Okay, well... Let's go back to agriculture was, right? That's where the water was. Oh, there goes my speed boost. And water was where the quotas is back here. Okay. Water seems to drain relatively quickly here. Hey look, it's full now. It doesn't say purified. Nothing bad happened, though. All right, now, can I... No, I can't. Okay. Um, that's fine. All right, let's go uh, punch some beehives, then.
All right, and back to basics. Okay, that'll give me an apple cider. Um, observation, look at the supplementary jar and have a glass bottle. That'll give me four more water bottles and some XP, two points of experience. <laughs> Uh, in addition to your hunger, you'll need to manage your thirst while in the vault. Should be fine as long as you, uh, as we provide an endless source of fresh water for you. Locate the faucet and jar in the back of the agricultural wing. Here you can refill glass bottles with fresh water to take with you. Make sure you bring it up if you venture outside. Okay. Stake your claim. Claiming chunks can prevent explosions and many other undesirable and hazardous effects. It's important to open your map. And now we need a pick. Okay. Well, let's. All right, so we have a ruined city right back here. Yeah, we can see mobs there. And, well, claim chunks. We are claiming all of this. I don't know exactly how far the vault extends underneath, and I don't want stuff, you know, going boom. So I don't think I need that one, though. All right, so we need to pick, right? Is this white anti-blocks? Okay. Um, I don't think I need to worry about anything else. It looks like... Okay, now how do, do I purify? By cooking. Okay. Oh, well, let's... Alright, like, give me more planks, give me some experience. Don't break quickly, more effective than punching stone. Use basic wooden tools to get started. Quickly upgrade to stone. We need cobblestone, a stone pick. We need crafting table. Again, okay. And we can make a... Or we can get a workbench and then more stone tools. I just need... Enough to make a pick with, really. All right, well, here, let me pick this back up. And... I really doubt there's going to be any, like, cobblestone hiding in here. It would be nice if it was, but I really doubt it. Here's a question. Do we have, like, Infinimine or, or Excavation or anything? It's FTB, so if we did, it would be the FTB vein mine, uh, ult miner, that one. But seeing as it doesn't, nothing pops up when I hold tilde, then yeah, probably not. All right, um, calcite. Okay, cool. My inventory is getting kind of full already. It's going to get worse here in a moment. I need cobblestone. So I guess I need to maybe hit up this boulder over here. All right, sun's coming up, which is good. Um, oh, I have to turn in six? Oh, okay. Well, it's fine. And... Hello, Creeper. All right, so let me go ahead then. So 
Somebody's digging. Oh, hello, zombies with radiation suits. I, uh, yeah, no, he's gonna spleef me if I'm not careful. <laughs> yeah, you're trying. You are. Ouch, got shot. You're trying. Oh. You know what? Here, let me claim more. Hey, creeper. They're smart. They're running away from the creeper whenever he starts hissing. There we go. Hey! Kill a creeper. Got it. Okay. Ow. Okay, yep. I got a sniper back there I gotta worry about. So we know they can mine stone. Which is not great. Ah! Freaking, there's a skeleton back there who's just ruining my day now. Let's just leave, right? We'll just go this way. If I go far enough away, they'll despawn. So, hopefully. They should. I don't see anybody following me, so we're pretty good there then. All right, what do we got here? Um, emergency repairs, backup power, I lube liberally. Okay, initiate reboot. Yeah, I'll get to that in a moment. Um, there was quest pop-ups, right? Ah, here we go. Synthetic acquisitions. Oh, okay. So, right, gotcha. No reward, which is why I wasn't showing up. Large crop analyzer. Hmm, okay. 
We need to turn in power to get stuff. Edible, but not recommended. Okay, interesting. And then our Akashic Tome, just a thousand energy. Okay. So we turn in power to get stuff. Don't panic. There's a contingency plan in place in the event of a catastrophic outage like the one you're experiencing. Beneath the task screen input is in the data access solution. You will find a metal barrel that contains a small fossil fuel emergency power generation system. Won't sustain anything long term, but it should be enough to reestablish the link. Lever, EEC from okay, electrodynamics, okay. And then cask with NBT. Nice. Um means it has a fluid in it already. Fluid transporter. Extractor back running in might be useful to repurpose some of the fluid transporters from the agricultural wing. Okay. Sure, let's go grab those. Um agricultural was this way. And Go. Yep. Quest complete. Initiate reboot. I need a order of a million power to uh, a task screen. Learn fifty thousand forge energy. Which right now it's probably going to be planks from beehives, right? Yeah, that's seen better days. Okay, so. Coal generator. Here we go. E. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, so. The AC motor. Is to actually transmit power, right? So, okay. Oh, it's even got a little mechanism thing there so you know where to, you know, hook it up at. Okay, so you're just going to place towards me then? All right, like that. Cool. And then I can take, run you and you, you to you. We have a liquid hopper, which makes me think there's like a fuel of some kind in the cask. Ah, look at that. Okay. Let me place down the generator like so. Hey, look, it's all hooked up. Now I just give you... Nope, it doesn't take this. It does say coal generator, so I'm guessing it, yeah, it's just coal. Uh, we are, okay, well, that'll actually, okay, I like that idea. Up cider. It's purified and it gives quite a bit of water. A liquid hopper. See, I don't know what I'm supposed to, like, hopper the liquid in the cask into is the problem. Uh, uses a system of wattage and volts similar to how electricity works. We can also convert this form of energy to many other uh, chi or forms, such as forge energy and IC2EU. Uh, to get down the fundamentals why re while re-establishing the link, we should build a small power system. Start by placing down the coal generator and giving it some fuel. Charcoal should work fine for now. Okay. Next, connect the tin cable to the back of it. Uh, this setup can power any machine that takes electrodynamics power or forge energy by just connecting the tin cable. Task screen can be a bit picky as it needs exact numbers to complete, and tin cables don't always send uh, packets of power and even bursts to get around this. Uh, connect uh, LV wire connector to the tin cable and then to the task screen. Okay, you want to do this too. Right, oh, I had one more page. Gotcha. Okay. Make sure you correctly set the task on the screen to this quest to supply enough power to reboot the system. These permissions, you may simply be an artifact from previous trial runs. The technician probably forgot to reset it, so just break and replace it with a wooden picker better. Okay. Yeah. So let me have 
this back. Turns out I don't need the motor right now. That breaks really quick. You know what? You come here. There we go. Task. Initiate reboot, right? I think that's it. 250,000, yep. Now let's hook you and you back up. Like so. We need to get charcoal, which we don't have access to quite yet because I don't have any trees. And barrel. All right, cool. I'm not sure what the lever's for. Also, I need food. Like, really, really, I need food. Um, because I need to heal. All right, so I could probably grow or start growing some stuff inside. If we have dirt. Everything I think I've seen so far has been moss, though. We have enough wool, we can actually make a bed if we need to as well. Let's check the cloches. Is there any thing in the cloche at all? No, it's got a little bit of water, but it has nothing in there. Okay. Yeah, this is moss, right? Y you can't grow stuff on moss. I could try growing an azalea tree in here, though. There we go. Now I have some storage. I have seeds. Just need dirt. This is probably moss over here as well, isn't it? You know, our extra beehive storage. Yep, moss block. Okay. And I'm pretty sure everything on the surface was moss as well. So dirt is going to be a bit of a challenge to get my hands on, I think. Oh, uh, we can make dirt with you, you matter. Okay. Dirt chips from productive bees. Okay. Let's take a look outside, and it's nighttime again. Dang it. Oh well. Hey, it's not really going to make a difference. I and the mobs aren't really on the surface or spawning on the surface. They kind of are, but not. Now, it looks like mobs, the zombies especially, were not dropping anything. So, let me go ahead and get a couple more azaleas planted here. It's just tall grass, but not grass blocks. Right. Um, Dried salt. Mineral grinder from electrodynamics. Okay. We'll get me gravel. Hello. Can you drop me your hazard suit, please? Well, you dropped me a bottle of enchanting. Not quite what I wanted, but I mean, that'll work. Uh, hello. Spiders throw webs. Okay. All right then. So food right now is actually going to be probably the biggest issue. I can't even, you know, live off a of zombie flesh because reasons, right? So I'm going to need charcoal. How much cobble did I have left? Not enough to make a furnace with, that's for sure. No, I do. I do. I do. Okay.
Quest completed. Toasty. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and grab those. Getting started. Hey, there's Toasty. Nice. Give me a heating unit for the oven and a block of charcoal. Okay. Time to get agrarian. We need crop sticks. That'll give me overgrowth fertilizer. To obtain rubber, you're going to need to cultivate stick resin. Uh, you can utilize what's already in the vault to get it. Start by creating some crop sticks to plant on and then go find some seeds. Head over to the agricultural sector. You can should be able to find some wheat seeds that will work to get anything started. Continue on to the Sprouting New Life chapter to progress further on this quest line. And then charcoal. And that'll give me four more blocks. So let's uncrap you. That'll complete this quest. It'll give me four more of those blocks. Smelting wood into charcoal will extend your fuel, and we can likely build some or into some higher temperature furnaces like iron furnaces or coal generators with that same fuel source. And then refined iron ingots, we just need to. Ta da! Smelt iron. Uh, to make more worthy machines, we'll need to begin our quest for some iron. To refine, head over to the Dangerous Path quest line to continue your mission. Suiting up. Alright, so the hazmat suit. We need rubber to make the hazmat suit. Gotcha. Now give me the scuba helmet. That's the IC2 hazmat suit. I was wondering which um, which mod's hazmat suit we were going to be using. Well, here, you can go in there. You can go there. Yep, there it is. It's moving. But I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Um, just looked at the time, and it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm liking the pack so far. It's... It reminds me a lot of also of an invasion, especially with the mobs, but with um, less of Dark Osto's dickery. So, but thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next, sign signing out. Have fun.